live in a world that demands too much of our time. At least half our waking hours are dedicated to employment. We have lobbied for more vacation time, but to no avail. We've tried to put down our cell phones and remove technological distractions, but our free will had other ideas. We've bought books on how to simplify our lives, but can't make time to read them. What if we've been looking at the problem the wrong way? Why should we need to reduce how much we work? What if we could eliminate the greatest time waster of all, sleep? This would result in an effective increase in human lifespan of a staggering 25 years. After significant research on the internet, I have arrived at three possible paradigms inspired by nature that can free us from the shackles of sleep. Let us start with the first night effect. This is a natural phenomenon in which humans rest poorly in their first night in a new location. Effectively, one hemisphere of the brain remains more alert throughout the night. This phenomenon may date back to ancestors who needed to remain alert for dangerous predators in unfamiliar settings. Unfortunately, after, after you have acclimated to your new surroundings, you'll be able to fall into an annoyingly inefficient, restful sleep, so this will not last long. Now, this effect has only been studied for a single night, but if it works for one night, by induction, it will work for a series of nights, provided we never sleep in the same bed. There is room for innovation here in the form of coordination services that will help you find strangers whose homes you can sleep at. We expect this to not only foster wakefulness, but increase social cohesion. However, this is clearly an imperfect solution. So we turn to something a bit simpler. This is called transcranial direct current stimulation. By painlessly and non-invasively delivering a constant low current flow of electricity directly to the relevant areas of your brain via dozens of electrodes placed on your scalp, we can further reduce the total sleep time required to function. The convenience factor is high, no more nightly nomadism, but you will be tethered to a large helmet and its power supply. While perfectly acceptable for a work environment, this is less than ideal for travel and leisure activities. What we need is a true wireless solution. It's time to cut the cord. Specifically, this cord. The, co <laughs> <laughs> the corpus callosum, the bundle of fibers that connects the two hemispheres of the brain. Now, a number of avian and cetacean species engage in unispheric sleep, enabling constant wakefulness in alternating halves of the brain. All of these species have one thing in common. Their corpus callosum is smaller than average or altogether non-existent. With a simple surgery, we can sever this connection and give your brain the all-natural efficiency of a sea mammal or bird brain. <laughs> no more need for constant electrical shocks. True split-brain sleeping ability. Surely, by now, you are convinced that we should put an end to sleep. However, some Luddites may note that recent research in mice indicates sleep is crucial for flushing waste products from the brain. But, as with so many things, technology can fix nature with no serious side effects. <laughs> Using a series of mechanical pumps and hoses, <laughs> we can artificially enhance our abilities to circulate cerebral spinal fluid throughout the brain tissue, replacing this evolutionarily flawed process. This equipment may initially leave something to be desired from a fashion perspective, so I suggest we take our cues from popular media in regards to design. <laughs> As for the surgery, it would be rather expensive, but we are confident that aspiring split-brainers can secure loans for the expense, provided they're willing to put in some extra hours at the office. There are some leading concerns about this leading to an arms race of wakefulness in order to remain competitive in the workforce, but have no fear. That arms race has already happened. One in five academics are already using mind-enhancing drugs like modafinil and amphetamines to increase wakefulness, and pretty much all of them have been abusing caffeine for years, and everyone in academia seems fine. <laughs> Let us seize the full utility of our own minds. Want to tap in your creative hemisphere or your analytical one? You'll be able to for a third of your day. Pursue two different career tracks. Get a jump on the competition you'll have all the time in the world. Thanks.